what's up my cuties it's your QT times back here with another video i'm flustered sorry i gotta get used to being back on camera but before we get into this video shout out to all my og shout out to all my old subscribers shout out to all my new subscribers shout out to everybody that's been supporting me following me i mean not following subscribing and liking and commenting you guys are all so sweet i will be coming back on some of my old videos because i was gonna do that but y'all know about my phone situation if you didn't yes my phone was broken for a good week and a half had to wait for it to get back i just got my phone back monday so now that's why i'm back today Anyway, um, if you haven't checked out my other videos, please check them out. And before we get into this video, make sure to like this video if you love me and you know just love my just love my personality, love my black hair and my black lipstick because I'm giving you like I'm giving you darkness, you know. Feel me? No antlers because you know Christmas is over. That was only for the Christmas, you know. In the December, we back to just regular, smegular TT, okay? And leave a comment down below. Because I do always read and apply. And please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Because, yeah. Just subscribe. We, this is the CTG family. So, yeah. Subscribe. If you're not already subscribed. And make sure you turn on your post notifications. So, you know when I post another video. So, hi, you guys. Happy Wednesday. Honestly, I wish today was Thursday. Because today was a long, long day. We'll get into that. And, um, yeah. So, on the menu for y'all, I have a little snack. This is not my meal. This is just for y'all. So, today, as you can see in front of me, I'm trying a new setup. Let me know if y'all like it. If you don't, just tell me because I know y'all can only literally see my head. You can't see my shirt. But, you know, we'll make do. So, as y'all can see, I got these a bunch of shrimps and a bunch of french fries. And also for dessert, I got this red velvet cake with homemade icing that my mom made with sprinkles. That's the one I was telling you about. Y'all never got to see it. So, that's what it looks like. If I can get a close up. Oh my fork! Sorry, y'all see that? Oh my god, isn't it so pretty? She makes the best cakes. She's just best. She's just awesome. She's amazing. But yeah, and all for my water, of course, I always got my Deer Park water and um Walmart. I went there the other day to get um look for Christmas stuff or whatever, and um they don't have no water. They had a little little twelve pack that was only two dollars. Honey, listen, I drink a lot of water. A 12-pack will be going in literally two days, so I need more water. And I couldn't even get none. Y'all know Deer Park is the only water that I drink. No exceptions. I said subsessions. I can't even talk. Exceptions. Let me take a thumbnail real quick because I'm talking from my mouth. Hold on. Oh, that is so stupid. Hold on. Okay. One of those should work. Let me try one more time. All right, that's good. All right, but yeah, so they don't have water. Y'all know I only drink Deer Park. I like Deer Park. That's the only one I'm drinking. All right, y'all can see the shrimp. So I'm getting y'all a close up. I don't got no cocktail sauce because this was literally I made this while I was at work, and I didn't really grab it. So, mmm, but they don't need none. Mmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Walmart. Get it together. Y'all never got no water. Y'all never got nothing. At least where I said they don't never have nothing. But today I work extremely, extremely busy. Um um Um, I was about to say. Yeah, so that was really busy. Um, of course, if you work in a restaurant business or if you work in retail, restaurant, whatever, most of the time during Christmas time, you know, they give away gift cards to retail stores and food places, restaurants, you know, all types of gift cards because that's what I did for my mom and all other friends and stuff like that. So, today was... Slow in the beginning, um, from when I got to work a little bit late, not really late, I was on time, but I was on time for me because I like to go to work a little bit early to get stuff done so that way I have time to do extra things. Um, I didn't really do, I didn't have time to do anything today, so tomorrow was, will, will be a long day for me as well because I have to do more and more stuff that I didn't do today, but, um, it was a pretty busy day. Um, the guy that I work with is okay, but he don't know how to do nothing besides fry. Um, if y'all don't know about Red Lobster. Red Lobster has five stations, a broil station, a grill station, saute station, fry station, and then 
we call him the quarterback. That's the winner person. That's the one that settles all the plates. So pretty much the CGM, which means certified C yeah, CGM, certified grill master, though that's the one that's always on the grill or on the broil. Now the way that the kitchen is set up now, so during lunch, if it's slow, one person should be able to run the kitchen by themselves. Meaning, most of the time, like I told y'all before, I'm alone. So, that means I have to grill, broil, saute, fry, and run the rindle alone. Five stations. And if I get five tickets, you don't even know how many. Like, you don't know if, if it's four people on this one ticket, five, six, seven, eight. So, and that's me doing it by myself. That's why I always complain. That's why I'm always irritated. Not irritated at y'all because I love y'all. But irritated at y'all because they don't staff correctly. And at this time of the year, during Christmas time, this is busy because that's when everybody starts to bring them gift cards in. That's when they have them holiday parties. Everybody's out of school. The college kids are out of school. People are not working. The new year coming. Bless you. <laughs> that's how my mom see me. <laughs> But, uh, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'm making it now. You in it? <laughs> but yeah. So today, the guy that I had, he's really nice. But um, he don't know how to. He don't know how to sell a place. Now, when it get busy and stuff, the thing that I don't like when it gets busy. I need you to learn how to assemble plates, honey, because if I'm on grill and broil and I get backed up, because most of the time, everything, usually most things only come on the broil and grill side. Sometimes fry, sometimes saute, but mostly the stuff comes on grill. And grill and broil take the longest out of everything. That's why you get that first. Then it's saute, you know, then it's fry, because fry stuff don't take that long. But how I am, you know, I try to make sure that even if, if I'm alone by myself and I have things on different components, I'm going to make everything early because I'm alone. I don't have time to wait. So usually I try to be a proactive and get it done early. But these new people, mm -mm. they don't do that. I don't have time to tell you what to do because, you know, it's busy now. I try to be nice as possible, but I can only be nice to a certain extent, you know. And that's just it. So that was kind of annoying, but he's a nice guy, very nice, very sweet. But he smokes so much cigarettes. But um, yeah, like um, a lot of people at my job. I don't have nothing against people that smoke cigarettes to do your own thing. Personally, I don't like smelling like a cigarette. That smell is very hard to get out your clothes. I hate being around it. I don't like cigarettes at all. Now, the only thing I don't like is, in my job, people feel like since they smoke cigarettes that they're obligated to have a break and all that kind of stuff for cigarettes. My thing is, if I'm not allowed to go outside to go chalk on my phone or be on stuff, why should you be allowed to take a cigarette break because you like cigarettes? You should do that before you get off, before you come in at work and after you get off. I'm not obligated to say, yeah, you can take a smoke break. Because why are you smoking while you're on the clock anyway? I don't understand that. Y'all do that before y'all come in. I don't understand. And the management isn't really good with that because they allow them to do it. Now they think it's okay for them to do it all the time. And it's not. Whatever. Even if I did smoke cigarettes, I would definitely get it done before I came to work because this is how I am. Because I don't want nobody to feel obligated to stay for me because they don't smoke. Say if I get off. Say if, let me give an example. Say if there's two people on the line, right? One person gets off at four. The other person doesn't get off until six because they're a double. Say the one at 6 says, you know, okay, I want to take a smoke break. And it's 3.55. You say, okay, you know, usually smoking don't take that long, right? Say the person, you know, had somewhere to be, so they had to get off exactly at 4. They say, oh, I'm going to come back at 4. Say the person that smoked didn't come back at 4 o'clock. 4, 4 10 hits. they still not here. Then they come back and tell you, oh, well, I had to go to the bathroom, I had to do this and that. You know, you try to be nice to the person, right? 
And then they take advantage and do all the stuff when they said they weren't going to do. Like, you didn't tell me you was going to the bathroom. You didn't tell me that you you was going to do this and that. You said that you was going to be back before 4 o'clock. It's like, you try not to be mean, but it's like, I'm being nice by allowing you to take a smoke break anyway. Because really, you're not supposed to. That's not obligated. That's not no... Like, bathroom, that's different. Like, if you got to pee really bad, go. But if cigarette, that's not, not something that you need. You just want to smoke a cigarette. Whatever. I mean, people at that job do whatever they want, y'all. I'm just going to over that place. I have to get out of there. I have to. For my own sanity before I snap on somebody. The people are nice. And all that. But I just can't deal with it no more. I'm over it. I'm trying to get a little bit of meat that be in the tail. Mm. Oh my god, y'all. So, y'all remember that video that I did with my sister, right? The one with the seafood bags or whatever. So, I'm addicted to that now. And oh my god, y'all. The challenges that I'm supposed to be doing. So, I haven't forgot about the challenges, y'all. It's just, I gotta shut my mouth. So, so much stuff has been going on, like, it's been a lot. So, like I said, I'm, I'm still gonna do the one pound carrot challenge. I know y'all probably like, girl, you gonna do your challenges? I'm still gonna do that. I'm still gonna do the five things about me that Doll's Diary challenged me in. I'm still gonna do the Soupy Eats Natural Challenge that they challenged me in. I'm still gonna do the Bonnet Seafood Boy Challenge from J Less E. Those four challenges, and I think I got challenged to another challenge, but I'm not sure. That's five I got to do, and I will be doing them sometime this week, so just bear with me. I'll probably do my nachos one, my nachos one, and my five things about me at the same time. <laughs> That'll probably be two videos, or it's going to be that one pound care and five things about me and combined in one, so I can get those both out of the way. And then um, the blind seafood challenge, that's going to be coming. So I've decided that. Um, I think I'm gonna do that Friday. Uh, Friday I'm gonna get two, um, two um, those seafood bags that I had before, and I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get all types of stuff. One bag is gonna be a certain thing. Another bag is gonna be that. I'm gonna mix it together, put it on a big platter, and then I'm gonna do the blind seafood boil that way. Even though I'm gonna know what I ordered, but I'm still not gonna be seeing it. So yeah. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, they coming. But y'all, that seafood place. Like I told you, I usually go there to go out, but them bags is it. Okay, they have um, a shaken, what is it called, shaken, shaken sauce? Some type, is it? I don't know what it is. It's some type of shaken sauce, and they have uh, Old Bay garlic butter sauce, and then it's another sauce because the shaken sauce is those two sauces mixed together, but the Old Bay... The Old Bay Butter Sauce, mild, is so good. Because I had the spicy one. It's either mild, mild, or spicy. There's no medium. If they had a medium one, I probably could take that one. But that spicy one, literally, my lips was burning. But I kept literally, like, dipping my whole shrimp in and sucking it off. And same with the corn. But it's really good. My sister told me about the place. So, shout out to Tammy because she gave me credit. She gave me her, her credit for that. And then my mom is hooked on time why she wanna get another bag this Friday. Cause I had one last week I had one Friday and I had one Sunday. And then after I had it at least six times. I love seafood. I'm a mailiner. I'm so happy and thankful that I'm not allergic to seafood because y'all honey, I would be so pissed cause cause I love shrimp as y'all can see. Shrimp, I'm the shrimp girl. That's my specialty. Nobody's taking that from me because oh, I'm the shrimp queen. Okay, period. I can make all types of stuff with shrimps and I cook my shrimps very well any type of way. Okay. So, but yeah, I love shrimp. I love corn. Oh my God, and they're corn and potatoes, y'all. You know how, you know, like when you do your seafood boiled potatoes and they like them big ones, but they like so soft. Oh my God, y'all. And then I was dipping it in the sauce and it's so much gar. It was so much garlic and butter and obey and I did that little lemon squeeze that um lemon ring like be love oh my god y'all it was so good them shrimps I was they were this big probably like a little bit bigger and oh my god the shrimps are huge they're not little oh my god I got cause I, last time I last big I got I got one pound of shrimp I always get extra corn extra potatoes because they don't never give me enough it automatically comes with sausage I'm not really a sausage man I'm not really a sausage fan but you can't you can't, um, the only thing I don't like is you can't 
exchange or replace that, it automatically comes with it. You only get extras or add on something. So, the sausage is not all that. It's okay. It's not nothing to brag about. And then I got, um, yeah, extra corn, extra potatoes. One pound of snap, one pound of, um, shrimp with the old big old mall sauce. And I added a cluster to it. Y'all, so freaking bomb. That was so good. Bear is down here breaking. As usual, y'all here. Listen, listen, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. My TV's on, and I don't want to stay away from y'all. The TV's a little bit loud, and I don't want y'all to hear it. It's the TLC story. I was telling my mom yesterday. Because I finally, I finally got to watch the Bobby Brown story on BT that came on Sunday before I went Christmas shopping. And I was just telling my mom, I was like, Mom, like, how come all these stars that always end up broke? Like, in the TLC story, they only got paid like a dollar or something. And then, in the New Edition story, they would only pay like 50 some, some cents, not even a dollar. I'm just like, oh my God. And she was like, this because they didn't read their contracts. And then it's like, okay, you're when you're young, okay. But then, like, when you get older, like, same with the new edition thing. They got older and they still wasn't getting no money. Same with them. They end up, they sold a million records and went broke. And it's like, how? And it wasn't even their first. And then, it is crazy. I mean, that's how you have to read your contracts. I don't know why, but I can understand back in the day because they were just excited. They're going to be famous or we're going to be rich. And then, you know, they try to get suckers. But listen, if I was to ever get famous, for one, mom, read this contract. Read it thoroughly. Let me know if I'm getting gypped out of my money because that's the problem, people. Oh, well, the contract is too long. Y'all need to read all that because clearly if you don't read all of it, it could be like a little escape clause, a disclaim clause, all types of stuff that you can get gypped out of your money. And I would understand who didn't want to read their contracts. That's crazy. But yep, I'm back with the videos, you guys. Literally, after I post this, I will be watching all you guys' videos. So, I'll be in the comments. I kind of want to eat some of this cake. Shouldn't we eat some of this cake, you guys? Shouldn't we eat some of this? Right? Yeah, I know this. Like this video. This cake looks delicious. I'm about to eat some because I want it. Oh, we gotta get some with the icing. Got to get the icing with it. Mmm. Y'all, look at that. <gasps> oh, y'all, I'm so mad. I'm gonna eat it though. I'm gonna eat it. I knew that was gonna happen. Y'all can't see, but it fell. I like this setup. That way y'all can't see my spillages. Because I always make a mess when I eat. It's good, y'all. Mmm. That velvet tastes really, really good. But yeah, let me know if you like this new setup. I think it's actually pretty good. You can see the food really well, and you can still see my face. Or you just can't see my outfit. Oh, you can see it now. There we go. I should have done that in the beginning. Now you can see me. Hey. Mmm. <laughs> Shrimps are so good. And I put um all bay and, and um ketchup on my um fries. But yeah, I'm so happy to be back. Like I'm so happy. I'm also ready for New Year because this 2018 has been a rough one. But I'm ready for the New Year. I know 2019 is gonna be a better year. I already know that. I have no choice but to be a good year.
Mmm. Mmm. I love shrimp. Shrimp makes me happy besides my family. Besides my family and water. I love water. I love food. I love my family. Oh, and I love my wigs. And speaking of that, um, I really miss doing my wig reviews. So, I'm on, I'm about to make this channel. Actually, I just, I, this new year coming, I love doing my mukbangs. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But, I want to do some other things on this channel. Like, I want to do challenges. I want to do, like, pranks and stuff. Like, and I think I'm about to just, it's going to be mostly mukbangs. But, I want to do some different stuff every now and then. And, I do miss doing my wig reviews. I love doing my wig reviews. I miss telling y'all, you know, where I get my wigs from. How much they cost. You know, the coals, the prawns. You know. My lips look so crazy. They look like ombre. They're not even ombre. But yeah, I miss doing that. So, in new 2019, it's definitely going to be a lot coming from this channel. So, be on the lookout for that because I want to do different stuff. I like like I eating. Don't get me wrong. It will be mostly eating like I said, but I want to do other things as well. So. But yeah, but I think that's... Pretty much it because I have a lot of work to do. Not work, but I have so many videos to watch. And yeah, because I feel like so left out and behind. It's been so, I'm pretty sure I've missed so many lives and everything. But if you meant to end this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Leave a nice sweet comment. Thank you guys for all your love, support. And thank you guys so much for just subscribing to my channel. I remember at one point I never thought I would even hit 100. And now I'm almost to 200. And I'm beyond grateful, beyond happy. And I know. I am just love you all. Um, all, my social media links will be linked, all my social media links will be in the description box below. Don't forget to follow my new Instagram, my Cute Tea Times Instagram. Which is primarily focused on my YouTube channel only. And I guess I do post on there frequently. Um, I'm trying to get more active on my Snapchats my instagram and my uh twitter that is for my personal one i'm just trying to get back into because i used to be really social but now i'm just like whatever but yeah um okay i think that's it i'll see you guys tomorrow i really wish today was thursday but it's freaking wednesday all right bye <laughs>